Hey guys, today is your last video before our last big power session tomorrow and you're writing an elevator speech about your chosen product. So your solution um, to your problem, what is your product, tell somebody about it. Um, so in the time it takes to ride an elevator, what would you tell someone about your new product? So an elevator rides pretty quickly, so it can't be more than 30 to 60 seconds long. Um, in words, if you're a word person, 80 to 90 words or 8 to 10 sentences. So you're really keeping it focused on your product, what it is, and what it helps people do. So what are the components of an elevator speech? Well, first you'll say your name pretty basic. Um, then what is your product's name? Give it a name if you can think of something creative. If not, you can leave it pretty generic for now. Um, what does your product do? Um, what problems does it solve? Tell us more about the solution. Who's your target consumer if you have one? Who would be buying this? Um, how is it different than any other competitors or any other products that are out there? And then you want to end with a call to action, something strong like a question to the person that would want to buy your product or listen to your elevator speech. So you guys will get an elevator speech worksheet. Your teachers have that. They can go ahead and hand that to you now. And it really breaks it down for you so you can kind of help have a guide to creating your elevator speech. So you'll notice on here first you'll say your name and your product. So the example shows that she says her name, where she's from, and what her product name is. Um, so it's really short, quick, just a quick little hook to grab the um, listener's attention. And then you want to talk about what does your product offer. This is where you focus in on the problems that you solve, so that list you came up with earlier, and give really good examples. So you can kind of see the example given there about the homeless shelter kit. Um, then what are the benefits? Talk about the solutions that you're offering and how it helps them. Um, you can talk about your organization's name or your product's name again here to really emphasize what your product does. Um, then how are you going to do it? So give a concrete example or a story about how you, um, your product helps solve whatever the problem is. And then on the back, if you'll flip to it, that's where you want to end with that specific call to action. This is where you want to give them like a question, like, can I contact you to see how we might work together? Or how would you like to invest in my product? Something that will really leave them with a question to think a little bit more about your product. When you're finished, you can go through that checklist for fine tuning. So, um, you know, get rid of things that you don't really need. Those just start with strong, short, powerful sentences. Uh, memorize your key points and practice, 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 um, and really keep your audience in mind. Now you'll notice when you're finished, there's not a lot of room here. There's a little bit of room if you want to write your elevator speech, because remember it should only be about eight to ten sentences long. Um, you can also write it in your power notebook, but that's where you want to write your final speech from this handout. Um, we really encourage you to practice, so if that means you need to um, take that sheet out of your notebook, take this sheet home with you. We really want you to practice, because that's what the power session tomorrow is all about. We're going to get to record you guys, your speech with um, a green screen, and then you'll also get to have some time to make your product. What would it look like um, with some few hands-on things, just some everyday items um, to create your product. Um, I'm going to end with a quick Shark Tank, if you've ever seen Shark Tank. Um, we're not focusing so much on how much our product will cost or how much money want people to invest in us, but you'll see his speech is quick, it's powerful, and you know exactly what his product is offering in this minute and a half. Obviously, you have a little bit less time, but it's still a great example for you just to watch. Next into the tank is a kid entrepreneur who wants to help other kids fulfill their entrepreneurial aspirations. Hi Sharks, my name is Jack Bonneau. I'm the founder and CEO of Jack Stands and Marketplaces, and I'm from Denver, Colorado. Hi Sharks, I'm Steve Bonneau. I'm Jack Stead. I work for Jack. Sharks, I'm seeking $50,000 in exchange for 10% of my company. I'm 10 years old, but when I was 8 years old, I really wanted a Lego set, but it cost $400. The good news was my dad said I could have it. But he'd have to pay for it with his own money. So, I did what most of you probably would do. I started my own lemonade stand. After 12 weeks, I made $900 after expenses. Wow. Learned some valuable lessons, and yes, I got my Lego Death Star. <laughs> experience is exactly why I created Jack Stands and Marketplaces. Jack Stands and Marketplaces provides kids and their families opportunities to learn about entrepreneurship, business, financial literacy, while having fun and making some money. We provide everything except their mood and their enthusiasm. 
Jack Stands offers kids the opportunity to sell lemonade and other drinks. We offer kids the opportunity to sell more than just lemonade. Jack's Marketplaces provides young entrepreneurs the opportunity to sell their products in authentic and great marketplaces and have kids sell those great products and tell the inspirational stories of these young entrepreneurs. So, Sharks, our challenge and question to you is, who wants to make money? While inspiring our nation's youth in entrepreneurship. So you can see this um, young man, he's very passionate about his product. He ends with a good question to have them buy into it. Um, you can know about his product pretty clearly, and he's very um, quick and to the point with his speech. So keep those kind of things in mind and this example in mind, and we really look forward to seeing or hearing about your um, speeches tomorrow. Good luck.